Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Imperialism 2 as frowns. Fearful frowns, because the dogpiling has begun. Uh, at least we're pretty darn close to it. Since they're all allied, Sweden is now the big big bad dog on the name on the block. They don't border us, but they don't care about that at all. Uh, we can always check the status to give an, an inkling of what's going on. As you can see, we are way behind in everything. We have a better military rating apparently on the diplomatic overview than England, but as you can see here, yeah. Merchant Marine. Actually, we're ahead, miraculously enough. World exports, yeah, we're pretty poor there. Industry. Labor force. Again, it comes back to the fact that they have gotten all the gold and silver and diamonds and everything like that. They're making a ton of money. And they also have access to a ton of food. And that makes them just... And they started off with a ton of small resources. So they got their all their industrial apparatus up way faster than us. So yeah. You took that province. That's okay. That's fine. You did kill most of them though. You have horse artillery. Well, we do too now. We do too. You're still waiting for resources. Let's see. Did we get that this turn? I think we did. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Uh, you build the road. And you build the road. And you build nothing because we can't afford it. Now the question is, what do I need to actually invade here? <laughs> Who knows? Problem is, I need to afford it as well, so... I don't want to bring more than I need either. Oh, okay, so that's not even possible. Never mind then. Really? Um... Okay, so two knights and a horse artillery. Go. Will that suffice? Time will tell. We have only have one unit for trade at the moment. Yeah, our merchant marine is pretty poor since we're using our fleet there to attack. And if that is insufficient, we're never going to land there anyway. Um, yeah, we're going to have to do this. have to do this. Still not fair good. That, that rating didn't change. Not gonna fund research this turn. want to save up money so I can attack in two turns. I want to check the status for military power. We're now stronger than from England because of our two units of horse artillery. Fudge. Thank you so much for that, Spain. Damn you. So they attack before we do. Ah. Well, there's no way I can attack a capital with three units. That just ain't gonna happen. So that's it. No more expansion in the new world for us, apparently. Ah well, uh, we are gonna go and improve food, I think. Yes, grain, livestock, everything. And you just defend right here, please. There's no way you can attack the Turkey capital with what we have left, so that's fine. Ah well. One turn too late. Grr. That's what I get for being hesitant. And, well, we could still attack some provinces up here, but no, I don't think we're gonna. Attacking a capital head on or from overseas, that's it. No, no, that's not gonna work. And the anarchy province there. 
think we'll have to settle for what we got. So we had six provinces. Which ain't much. The next goal is just now to keep our head down while the European wars start. If anyone attacks us, we're dead. Then that's gonna be game over. And if that happens, I did, as I did mention, I will just start over with a new game. And I'll switch that one little rule about our aggressive game around, I think. Because as, as I've shown, it is possible to build up your infrastructure. At least if you have a decent start. But <laughs> it is such a struggle. And by the time you finally start getting somewhat balanced out, all the other AIs are going to crush you. Because they have had so much time to build up their economy. They're going to have so much more food. It's just not fun. At all. That's my take on Impossible on this game. At least now we're going to start funding research again. So the next tech that is crucial for us is university. After that it's going to be... Uh, emplaced artillery units. Yeah, low cargo space, you don't say. Timber gathering. Ah, research that desert. No more things to research in this province. Let's just explore a bit here. Explore where we can. Doesn't really matter. Just go over there and try to connect to things. Same here. And you're just heading back to port. That was a waste of time. It irks me that the AI gets to attack before we do. <laughs> Which is kind of strange because troop deployments, when you deploy troops, that happens before an actual attack from the AI. So there's something very strange going on there. At any rate. Now to make the most of what we have. And again, at this point, it comes down to two things. Sugar refining, so we can actually uh, improve our landscapes. Right, we do have level two forts. Printing press is definitely going to be something we research. Need to get to university. No, you love words. Bit me tongue. I also need to get to... Let's see if I can find the darn thing. Um... That. These two texts lead there. Yeah, timber gathering too. In place artillery is just so, so crucial. Since that's gonna upgrade all our uh, ports. The defensive cannon there. Weak navy, you don't say, because I don't have the naval tech at all. Sugar refining! Explore where we can. While we can. And let's go down this way and then up. Uh, how much resources do I have left? Let's just hold on you for a second. Get that cattle instead. Can't, of course, go into Portress just now. And we don't have the resources to build with you, so that's fine. That's one extra unit of grain. Just need an extra unit of meat, and then we can recruit more people. We can get that unit of meat, so might as well do that now. Let's see, next turn. Drop the bronze. Get more workers. Uh, we have to sell resources just to stay <laughs> afloat here. Um, okay, there we go. Actually, so that we can sell one next turn as well. We can refine sugar, that's fine, but we can't train the workers yet, so we need the tech for that as well. 
And that's probably going to be the next tech we beeline for. Most likely they have already gotten it. Apprentice... Uh, only Sweden! 600 a turn is too much. Cut funding there. Cut funding there too. Only support apprentice workers. Yeah, that's. I think that's gonna have to be what we prioritize. You can't explore anything else here. Um, so I find you can explore a bit over there in the Pueblo lands. Uh, yeah, I want to connect this spice. I want to build a road there, I just can't afford it. And you return to port. We have enough cloth to do this. We almost have enough food to do it as well. So we have two units of horse artillery, that's not much. But it's enough to create breaches. And it's enough to cause at least some military strength to show off. But these countries are just... yeah. I did mention they're cheating like crazy and they of course have much more territory in the new world and then yeah. Grumble, grumble, grumble. There goes that province, we were expecting that to happen. Took a long time though. Embassy in Germany. Yeah, we haven't done anything on that front. And for a good reason, I can't do anything there. Not if I want to survive. No tasks for you, no tasks for you. I just have to avoid the dogpiling, that's the only thing that matters. If another AI is dogpiled, then we live. Oh, I completely forgot to cut uh, back the funding here, oops. So, something like this. Yeah. One cloth for sale. Actually, we can sell all that. Don't need it. Give me the money. Can't afford to expand anything else now. Now we just have to try to keep all the builders and engineers going. So we can connect resources. Portugal declares war on Italy. Okay. That is... Well, not bad, really. Not really. Just sort of. Uh, do I want to connect that other sugar yet? Two units of sugar. Yeah. Let's do that. And then not you. I need to get this guy working again. You're gonna get that spice plantation. Because that's money. And I need what little money I can get. I can grow down to this farm. Or this meaty thing. Meaty, the meaty thing. I need to connect there as well. And then... Then we're connected to pretty much all the resources in our country. There's still... Yeah, I know there's still resources up here that I haven't gathered. Which is a pity. Just can't afford it. That's the thing. I'm gonna keep doing this. I need the road grid first, then the fortifications. So. If the AIs declare war on me, I'm dead anyway. At any rate, you declared war on Italy. Which I'm quite okay with, to be honest. Did that affect your relations with anyone? Holland took a rather dim view to that. So let's see, of our neighbors, well, Switzerland is protected by Sweden, so we know where we can attack there. And yeah, everybody's protected. Everybody except Italy. Italy was the only power not protected. Interesting. Too late now, though. They're toast. 
They are the three provinces. You're still allied, you're still allied. You're not allied. Oh, good lord in heaven. I'm nervous. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Just have to keep her head down, I guess, and try to get more tech. Try to get a better industry going. If we can make a good industry, we might just have a chance. Okay, you decide to completely crush them, I guess. Lost nothing. Destroy the fort. Yeah, build the road up here so we have it. And down there so we have that. And then we need to connect the rest of the stuff with our own country first, I think. Huh. More resources dedicated to this. Still one cloth for sale. Yeah. And everybody still hates our guts, especially Portugal. Though Sweden hates us a bit less than most. What about the Cherokee? Okay, so since the attack was preempted, they didn't actually don't actually hate our guts. All of them are down to their capitals. Kind of worried actually that all the natives are going to be gone, and if that happens and all the all world powers goes away too. We're not going to be able to make, sell anything. The game basically shuts down because, unlike in Imperialism 1, the capitals don't keep buying goods. Which is a massive, massive oversight. I think. Because that, yeah. You need to keep the natives alive, basically. Uh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! We avoided the dog pile. This is the first freaking game. We're in online impossible. I think I must have played like eight or nine games at this point. First one where we went to dogpile target. Halla freaking Luya. Okay, so let's see. Portugal breaks their alliance with England. Sweden declares war with England, not with us. Yay. Were they weaker than us? Were they really weaker than us? Did we dodge a bullet there? Yes, we did. <laughs> and only just. Only just. Um, this is good news. Okay, England. England is most likely the most weakest target right now. So we have to consider fighting England. Let's see, we don't border England. Uh, I'm going to move you to Loire. If I'm going to build a fortification, that's going to be where? Because... Yeah. Neighborhood. You go here. Build all networks. Yeah, you got that sugar. Or that sugar. That spice. But you need the sugar as well. This is true. Um, you need so many things. But the food first. You can connect more food, right? Yeah, more meat. We're gonna connect. Yeah, food first. As much food as we can. The sugar is going to be very useful once we have the refining methods. Which means, let's see, how much sugar are we transporting right now? There's four units, right? Yeah, so we can make train two apprentice men, which means we need two units of paper. Cut back on this, make more paper so that we're ready. As soon as we can transport more food, I'm going to go into cloth. We're gonna need four bronze and four timber to build another level of fort. Oh, I'm 
so tempted to jump in on this. So insanely tempted. But it very much depends. Portugal is going to be busy here. They're going to defeat Italy, not, not a problem there. Uh, but what will Holland and Spain do? But right now I'm looking at these three provinces there. And of course so is Sweden. But at least let us prepare for it. So we're going to take our army. All of it. And relocate to the border. I'm not surprised to see that they're defending these territories. Copper and gold and silver and everything. Oh, I want to attack so badly. You have, they have, This is actually not fortified. Not that it matters, we can't get to it. So, Nor is the Swedish one, actually. So if England goes there, that would be good news. No, no, th this is just such a big occasion. I'm going to make a save. Because now things are going awry. Yeah, Portugal is invading there. That's not unexpected. Scotland and Portugal signs a pact. Good for them, I suppose. Build a level 2 fort. Really expensive, but... That's the only province in the old world where the uh, native natives, where, where the other empires can attack us directly. And that's why it's important to fortify it. So he has a lot of units there, but not many units here. Sweden has units there, I can see two flags at least. Look at all these unfortified. How can they do that and not us? It just, yeah. Grumble. Finnick, anyway, we have two paper. That's what we wanted. No more than that. Next up, are the, you're just gonna spend the resources to... Let's see, you're gonna need two roads. Well, one road and one other improvement. We're gonna need... Timber for that, we're gonna need more bronze for more forts. <sighs> I need so many things. Thing is, I want to attack England so badly right now. Um, who are you allied to? Denmark, Scotland. Oh! No wonder you want to piss them off. On the other hand, Sweden is kind of the target I want to fight to get to Switzerland, but uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm terrified now. If I attack England, odds are pretty good that they'll... Uh, that they'll crush me rather than fight... Uh, I don't know. There's also Holland and Spain, who are not currently fighting anyone and ally to each other. So we need to keep... we need to be stronger than England. Um, basically. As long as we're able to do that, we might just might swing this. I don't know. I don't know. Should we, should we attack? Should we attack England? I mean, look at all this, all the gold and goodies. This one's gonna be a pain in the arse to get though, because that it's heavily defended, but uh, this one isn't. Not as much at least, it's just a fort with no defenders. So we could attack there and then push our way down to the coast. I don't know. You know what, I'm going to take a break and think about this for a moment, but this is an opportunity, I'm so terrified, because if I attack, there's a very good chance that Holland decides, you know what, I'm just going to take all your stuff. 
and then we're toast. So <laughs> I don't know. Time for a break. Thank you for watching.